the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall are four and uh, anterolateral muscles are three in number the external oblique which is arising from the rib five to twelve ribs it passes down gets inserted into the iliac crest and forms a very important ligament the inguinal ligament next muscle is the internal oblique muscle the muscle lying deep to the external oblique is the internal oblique which arises from the inguinal ligament iliac crest lumbar fascia and gets inserted above into the costal margin it also forms erectus sheath the cremaster muscle conjoint tendon and forms the wall of the inguinal canal the deepest muscle is the is the transversus abdominis muscle this also arises from part of the inguinal ligament iliac crest lumbar fascia and forms part of the erector sheath and the conjoint tendon the uh, last vertical muscle is the erectus abdominis muscle which arises from the pubic symphysis pubic crest passes vertically up to get inserted into the 7th 6th and 5th costal cartilages there are tendinous intersections in the in this particular muscle the, this muscle is also enclosed by a sheath which is formed by the three muscles and that is known as the rectus sheath the formation of rectus sheath in the uppermost part it is formed only by the external oblique in the middle most of the most of the middle part it is formed by external oblique and anterior lamella of internal oblique posterior sheath is formed by the posterior lamella of internal oblique and transversus in the lower part all the three muscles aponeurosis come in the front of rectus abdominis muscle the rectus sheath contains rectus abdominis superior and inferior epigastric arteries and the intercostal nerves now